So most people in America are not accustomed to homelessness in which you have to carry your belongings, and that is a sad thing because what it usually means is that the players who are panhandlers who come out of the homes and out of the shelters who sit on the street to catch, collect coinage are a little different than me. I am someone who actually lives outdoors, and I am not trying to be abused by anyone. At the same time, I'm not here to sitting here to be an amusement to anyone. When I talk to people about my program, I am not fishing for their information. What I am trying to do in my questions of them and my interview of them is figure out how to talk to them in a way that their minds will approachly get. You see, I can do an entire 24-page presentation in front of someone, but they may not have time for that. But when I try to begin my program to show someone, if they start to roll their eyes at me, then there's no point in me sharing that. I was just approached by a woman named Cindy who alleges that she is a, a uh, mom who has a child who's high school and homeschooled, and as a kindness to remind her of who I used to be, I offered her a video channel where she could learn some Japanese, which is something I did, and she refused. So the fact that I declined her McDonald's card was not something I'm going to be apologetic about. I was really trying to qualify how much she wanted to give it to me. And usually people, when they first get a no who don't really want to give it, will immediately take it back. And that is something that God has taught me, that a willing heart gives regardlessly, and a willing heart is willing to pass it or pay it forward in other ways, in other means. And that's what I'm talking about.